Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my video section in IWS Amazon Cloud. Today we will learn a new concept how to provision a machine in the EC2. So let's start to go in the my account to IWS. So here I want to access in IWS Amazon console. Then I will choose the first link. As you can see here, uh, there is two, uh, two options for root user and I am user, so I will choose uh, the, the first one. So I will now put it my emails, then put it my password. Okay, so here as you can see I'm in IWS uh, account. So here uh, as you can see uh, there is different uh, region in the IWS. Uh, as you know, there is many, many uh, region in IWS. So here I want to choose to in uh, Frankfurt, the Frankfurt Europe. Okay, because Amazon uh, are recommended for uh, for choose the region near your country. Okay, so so here uh, I want to go to the service services, the services. Now I will choose the EC2. Uh, you can you have three option here for 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 select the EC2 instance uh, by group or uh, by alphabet or you can write write it I will write EC2 okay so I will choose the first one the EC2 so here I'm in the EC2 dashboard so here I want to go to instance instances then go to the launch instance here you have uh, you have uh, this uh, this uh, this page for the choose the Amazon machine image. You have uh, four option. You have my uh, am I if you have uh, image already, and you have IWS marketplace, and you have community uh, am I's, and you have the free tier only. For, for testing now, I will uh, I will use uh, just only the free tier only. Okay. And uh, as you can see here, you have many operating systems uh, like uh, Red Hat Linux, uh, like Amazon Linux, and uh, Windows. So we will see, uh, we will start in the Microsoft Windows Server 2019. Okay, I will select it. Then I will choose the instance type. As you can see here, you have many options to increase. For example, the virtual CPU and the memory and uh, the instance storage uh, and the, the instance storage so uh, for testing now uh, I'm, I'm using just the, the free tier so I will uh, I will choose the second one after that we will uh, go in the next uh, next configure instance details here we have the configure instance details uh, the first one is the number of instance as you can see here you can launch uh, for example, uh, five instance in one time. So here for testing, we will choose just only one. Uh, here the network. This is related by the VPC, and uh, we will uh, we will see this uh, this option later on. Okay. Now I will not choose the the availability zones of uh, of this uh, of this uh, this, uh, this 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 instance. Uh, every every region that they have uh, many many availability zones as you can see here in the Frankfurt we have the three availability zones so I will choose the A okay and here for auto assigning public IP this is enable this is can allow you to uh, access to this instance in the in the different different uh, in different places uh, uh, by by the public IP of course okay so now uh, so no need to, to see this uh, this option so go in the add storage here for adding storage you can you can increase the size of storage uh, for for test uh, I win mean, I will use just the the default one the default options now here you can also activate your encryption for uh, for this uh, for this disk okay and uh, the volume type also you can you can uh, uh, you have many options for example provision IUPS SSD or proposed SSD so I will go the add the tags here uh, you can add the tags for example the name the name here I wanna uh, write it Windows okay 
Windows, for example, Windows Server 2019. Okay. Then go to configure the security group. The security group it's very important. Okay. If you have uh, if you have security group already you can select it okay uh, already I have uh, some uh, some security group now I wanna create a new security group for example uh, for for uh, Windows Windows Server 2019 for example I will also in description in the same so here we need RDP or remote desktop protocol this is allow you to access in the these options uh remotely so we need rdp also uh, we need the http and uh, we also we need the https where is it https https where is it where is it where is it so https sorry http https already choose it http so here uh, also this is very important for the source this is a custom so if you want to uh, to access in this in this uh, instance from anywhere so i will choose anywhere if you want to access in specific ip you can choose the my ip the my ip public okay so i will choose anywhere okay anywhere anywhere okay then review launch now I will review all all uh, all uh, my options are choose it already. Then I will choose the uh, launch, okay. So now I will choose the key authorize it for this instance. If you have this key already, you can choose uh, the choose the existing key pair. And now for uh, for me, I will create new key pair and I will uh, I will choose it as Frank. Frankfurt region okay Frankfurt region <coughs> Frankfurt region here okay and do uh, download the key pair okay uh, why this error the error key pair invalid Frankfurt region for key name it should be terminated okay so I will it uses this one okay download it the same error okay problem maybe about the capital letter okay F okay download keep here the same error also the Frankfurt Frankfurt okay I will choose the server Windows <laughs> Windows server I will Windows 19 okay download keep here okay now I will I create uh, the, this is the new key here uh, uh, for the Windows Instance Server 2019 okay just uh, to uh, pour it for example I pour it here example in the video or picture okay the new folder Frankfurt okay and save it okay okay let's start launch instance so now uh, the instance uh, is launched so the view instance as you can see here uh, this is the uh, instance are pending and we will uh, we will uh, we'll wait for establish this uh, this instance or create this instance so now this uh, windows server uh, already running now i want now to access on this uh, windows server as you can uh, as you can see or you know this uh, windows servers already in the frankfurt cloud uh, amazon okay so i will to uh, access to this uh, to this uh, windows okay i will choose the connect okay the connect as you can see here we have the dns public and username and uh, the password okay so now i will download the remote desktop file okay after that after that uh, after that we will connect to this one okay we will connect to to my remote okay connect after we connect here uh, he asked me about the password how can get the password so I will choose this one get password okay choose the file and bring the 
the file already downloaded uh, the key the key uh, the called windows server 2019 okay and decrypted and now copy copy this 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 uh, this password and uh, last here okay remember okay yes okay now we can access to my server in Frankfurt in the Windows server as you can see we are here in the Windows server in IWS Amazon in the Frankfurt region so uh, this is a small video about how to create uh, the uh, instance EC2 instance in IWS so let's go now to delete uh, and uh, we learn how to delete this uh, this machine it's very simple also okay so I want to go to the instance so here go to the actions and uh, in the instance in instance states okay so here you have to stop to stop this EC2 and reboot it or terminate it so we don't need this EC2 so we wanna go to terminate directly okay yes terminate okay now uh, we terminate this EC2 this is the just small video thank you for consideration and watching see you in the next video